Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Natasha Blazaki from Art Recipes and More, a crew member for Canvas Corp Creative Team. This is a 12 by 12 craft envelope. It was uh, in our Dity pack. All crew members have uh, this one. And now it's time to do something with it. Uh, I will start by scoring around the envelope, the, the three sides of the envelope, and um, I'll be scoring at one and a quarter inch. I'm not gonna score the top uh, side with a flap. One and a quarter. and one and a quarter turn it around it's easier and again one and a quarter And now here is what I aim for. I'm going to make a box out of this envelope and not any kind of box. I'm going to make a stationary station. Here I measure the side of my box and it's now 11 inches tall. I'll be cutting this down to 6 inches and I will flip over the rest of the piece that will be cut. I'll flip it over and create some pockets on the outside. I'm going to pre-score this at 5 inches. I will cut along this score line till my 5 inch mark. This is what has become of the envelope so far. Cut the sides and now I have the main box and I have those two wonderful flaps. I'll be keeping the side flaps. I have to score here and here so that I I will be able to create some pockets. I have trimmed the side flaps by one quarter of an inch. It was one and a quarter. I took out the one quarter. This is approximately seven inches. I will score at three inches three and a half and four inches. So we'll score at three three and a half and four. And that will be our pocket. Isn't this amazing? These parts really need a reinforcement. 
This part here measures nine and a half by one. So I cut a piece that it is slightly, slightly, but not a sixteenth of an inch, eighth of an inch, slightly smaller, so that I can fold it. Now I have to score this one also in the middle to follow my score lines here. do the same on the other flap as well. We need a piece that it's three by two. Okay, so we score in the middle at one inch. Then we turn to the long side and we score at a quarter of an inch. Now we need to make a little, a, a small triangle here. So from this cross point, quarter and one inch we go to the corner and we do that on the other side from the middle across point to the corner And we'll put it on the, it doesn't match exactly. So what I do is fold this little corner, fold it like that, and now it's perfect. Let's put this here, see, put this here, okay, well, now we can close, we can glue this part as well. So we put glue here and we put glue here and close. And hopefully we've got a beautiful pocket. We have to, have to press tip it, have to make sure it's Uh, take a piece of paper and wipe off the glue. Uh, for the decoration, I am using uh, the Ordre du Jour collection and um, this uh, piece, this piece is nine and a half by two and seven eighths and I cut it from uh, two and you paper. That's it. Which is Gorgeous, beautiful, amazing. I love it. So what I've done so far I have created my pockets here and here I put uh, this little separator in the middle so I have two pockets on this side and magnetic closures on both sides and now I'm going to open it and 
glue on the inside a piece of very thick um, cardboard. Okay, here I've glued some Teza self-adhesive aluminum tape at the bottom of my box and now it's super strong. I've got this wonderful paper I'm gonna use for the inside. Okay, and I've got the, these two pieces to put here. It's gonna be very beautiful. made my separators and I did use the craft cardstock that was here at the back of this mixed media pad. My box is almost finished. You can get the idea now. I'm just uh, gluing some bits and pieces here and there. I want to make it more interesting. Uh, I've got an idea for the back to cut just apart from this uh, sticker set. This is uh, Seven Gypsies uh, Junk Finds and it's uh, the library set and uh, I don't want to use the whole sticker. It's too big and it's got great foliage here very beautiful that I want to save for another occasion don't have to use it all so I'm doing some fussy cutting uh, and I'm gonna use just a part of it and I'm gonna put this one here and it looks very, very beautiful and luxurious. Look at that. Oh my God, it's amazing, it's amazing. I was so thrilled by this project, really, really. Okay, I took a, a little piece of canvas from uh, the scrap we had in a ditty pack and I created this little pen holder. I sprayed it with the uh, Coral Reef and Dijon. I will glue it down first to secure it and then I'm gonna open the uh, holes and place the eyelets. So this is uh, the finished uh, stationary station. This is how the pen holder turned out uh, after I put the eyelets. Um, these are ordinary pencil and marker. I just distressed them a bit. Um, all of the booklets I made uh, to decorate my station are from um, Seven Gypsies uh, collection, uh, paper collections. So I will uh, write uh, everything um, in the subtitles so you know. Um, I have distressed those two and um, used some uh, uh, distress ink. Uh, I made these uh, little booklets and uh, notepads uh, 
you can write on them. This is ordinary uh, printer's paper. And uh, I use the combination of uh, this Glimmer Mist. Uh, it's Dijon, yes. And um, Tim Holt's uh, Distress Ink uh, Brushed Corduroy, I guess. And uh, they work together very well. And uh, I distressed my paper. I've made uh, some other booklets too. This is ordinary printer's paper also. These grid lines are um, a Photoshop uh, brush. Uh, those uh, designs here too are from Photoshop. I just uh, made a few pages, uh, printed them and then cut them out and uh, stitched them together. Uh, this is regular thread because uh, I'm not in book binding so I didn't have uh, a special uh, book binding thread which is uh, usually waxed so I just took a regular thread uh, we use uh, for our clothes and I um, waxed it a bit and then I let it uh, dry and I used it to stitch my booklets. This is uh, the back side of a junk finds um, pack. I found it very, very beautiful. And on top of that, I um, used the pieces of uh, Seven Gypsies paper to decorate it. This flap opens, it's got a magnetic closure and it opens and there's more space under it, another pocket to put also other stuff, maybe things that you don't want to be inside, just hide them a bit. Uh, another booklet, I love the Dijon uh, color, it's so beautiful. Uh, here I glued some um, uh, printed uh, canvas from, uh, I think it's uh, the Gypsy Pack uh, co uh, collection. I love that. Some more booklets. Old photos. Everything is from Seven Gypsies Papers. This little guy, I love that. I cut some pages from an old book. You cannot read that, doesn't make any sense. But I just uh, made a book of my own. This little folder. I created this tab with a punch. And this pocket also opens. This flap also opens. It's got a magnetic closure. And I created more tags to hide in here. This is my daughter's favorite. I really hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. And honestly, I could go on making more of these things. I hope it inspired you and uh, why not give it a try. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon, I hope. Bye-bye.